Hey guys, Andrew Houston here from Profit Contractors and I want to talk to you about a problem that I hear all the time and that I see all the time uh, and that's quoting profitably. I got to tell you, but 95% of the contractors that we talk to are not quoting profitably. So before you quote another job, please listen to the rest of this video, okay? So before we get into a couple of the hacks that, that most contractors miss, let's talk about whether or not this is something that might be a problem in your company. So let's look at the red flag, yellow flag system. So if you've got a roller coaster ride going up and down your bank account, you might want to look at this. If you find that when you sit down with your accountant at the end of the year, which by the way should be more than that, but if when you do or have, you're not making them profits for all the energy and effort that you put in. If you look at all the sales you've done, it's just like, man, where's the hell's all my money? Or, you know, you do a job, you think you did the job great, and you look back on it and it's like, holy shit, man, we didn't make the money that we wanted to. Then pay attention here. So here's a couple of hacks. Now there's a whole process that we go through with our clients and templates and tools and, and, and other areas, but I'm just gonna to touch on these and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of amazing tools that, that our clients use to help them with quoting profitably. The first one starts with, it actually starts way before you actually quote. You're like, what? I'm like, yeah. You need to filter fast. You need to filter out the class D deadbeats, the class C can't deal with, the class B basics, and focus solely in on the class A clients. If you don't have some sort of system to filter that, you know, right from the phone call, right from the email, then no matter what you do or how good of a job you do with quoting, you could be dealing with people that are just price shopping, completely wasting your time for hours and hours, or maybe days of quoting. You could be dealing with people that when you do land them, which would be even worse, they don't pay you. They don't pay you what you're worth or they just don't pay you. But they're paying the ass to deal with, they don't communicate with you, the job drags on. So no matter how good of a job you did, quoting, you're screwed. Before you even get on the field of play, you've lost the game. So you need to filter fast, okay? So if you want, if you want the tool that we've got that does this, it's called the uh, Client Rating Matrix. And what it does, is that it allows you to rate your current clients. So we wanna start with the current clients you got. We use that process to get rid of the guys that you're currently dealing with first. And then we gotta focus in on and leverage the same process for the prospects that are coming in. So filter, filter fast, okay? The next thing that you wanna look at is you gotta break down your quoting process. Look at, here's the thing. If you wanna scale your business, you wanna get more control, you wanna make more money, you wanna become a champion CEO so the business can run more without you, at some point you're gonna to have to let go of the quoting process or let go quotes, and if you don't have a process that works, if you have a, uh, don't have a process and it's got a whole bunch of errors in it or, or, or places where it, it misses information, then that's gonna get passed on to other people, right? So you gotta ba break down your quoting process. Now, what do I mean by that? It's not complicated, okay? You guys are all smart tradies, but let's just take a look at an example. If you're an electrical contractor, that would be you know putting in the service, that's one phase. Doing the roughing, that's another phase. Doing the finishing, that's another phase. So you want to break that down so that not only you can look at what's working and what's not through your quoting process, but the, when you transfer that information over to your project managers, they know what the hell the expectations are and how the job was quoted. So in this quoting process, there's, a, there's an area that is super critical that you guys got to get. 95% of contractors don't do this, okay? It's including your break-even margin. You might be thinking, what the hell is break-even margin? Break-even margin is the amount of margin that you gotta put on your quotes based upon your sales to cover your overhead costs. Overhead costs like salaries, leases on trucks, all those expenses that whether you get a sale or not, you gotta pay, right? You've gotta include that. Those can range from 15% all the way up to 30 plus. So imagine if you're a contractor and you're putting 20, 25 points on your jobs and you're not putting 15 or 20% to cover your overhead costs, you're basically working for nothing. Even if you quoted it accurately from the perspective of time and material. So you gotta add your break-even margin, okay? We have a tool called Pricing for Profits tool. Type that in if you want that tool. Freaking amazing tool. And you can apply it right away to the quotes that you're doing um, to help you filter fast, to help you quote profitably, uh, specific to your business, okay? Don't let any contractor tell you, oh yeah, man, I put 20 points on this, I put 15 points on that. Guys, look at all your overhead costs are gonna be different for every contractor. So you gotta figure out what that break-even margin is for you, okay? And um, and that's it, guys. So 
you know, to become a champion contractor, you got to focus in on the right things. To focus in on the right things, you got to take it seriously. So let me just touch on this from an identity perspective as far as your responsibility as a leader, as a champion CEO, okay? If you don't quote profitably, guys, you're not only putting your team on the line, right? I've seen 10, 20, 30 year old businesses go under it like that just by quoting one job wrong, wrong okay? You're putting all that risk of your family on the table, right? Like, you know, think about it, right? It's not just the, putting the food on the table for your team. But what about you and your family and your dreams and, and making money with all this hard effort and all this risk? So you got to only quote profitably. You got to only quote those people that are worth quoting profitably. And you got to make sure you got a system that ensures that when you hand it over to somebody else that they quote profitably every single time. If you can't, you know, if you got, if you got somebody that's not willing to pay you what you're worth, and not allow you to make a profit, well, screw that, okay? Then we gotta focus in on the marketing and other things, okay? So only quote if you can be profitable on the jobs that you're quoting, okay? It's Andrew Houston from Profit for Contractors, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the flip side. Ask for those tools if you want. If you're not on the Facebook group, join it um, for lots of insights like this. Don't do it alone, join a great community. And uh, that's it, that's all, folks. So this is Houston, over and out, and we'll see you guys on the flip side, ciao.